This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. Today, I'm in Short Pump. Short Pump is, of course, Western Henrico. And today, we're going to take a look at a three bedroom, two and a half bath condo. This uh, particular new construction development is in the newest section of Short Pump. Uh, we are all the way near the Goochland County line. Uh, everything you see is just a few years old or less. Uh, we've got a lot of retail here in this area. Uh, brand new CVS is right there in the middle of your frame. There's an Aldi across from it. A brand new emergency room just went up uh, just three weeks ago. So there is a lot of development that's going on here. And this is a really, really happening spot. Uh, one thing that I wanted to show you was particularly unusual for this area is that big old plus bus there. Uh, that bus, which is powered by natural gas, by the way, is relatively new for the counties here. We don't have a whole lot of bus service coming to the counties in this area. As compared to most metropolitan areas, bus service can be really spotty. Uh, so we are very, very happy to have that here. The site agent was sharing with me that some of the owners here actually catch the bus to work. And that's not a new concept for most areas, but for here, it really is. Straight back is the garage. This has been finished out as a sales office, uh, but it would normally be a garage space. There will be a wall right there where you see the opening. And uh, this will, of course, be a one car garage uh, with the garage door being where those double doors are currently. So we're gonna go back in and upstairs to our living areas. And one thing that fooled me when I saw the photographs of the exterior is I thought automatically, okay, we've got a four level town home and that's not the case. You cannot look at a structure and tell whether it's a town home or a condo. Uh, a lot of people think that a town home looks like a, what we call a semi-detached home. And that's always gonna be a town home. That's not true. What happens is the actual name of the type of housing is determined by its legal status. Let me give you an example. You could have a single family home in what looks like to be a traditional single family neighborhood. And if the paperwork for that association or that community was structured to make it a condo, it could really be a condo. So we don't see that very often, but it could happen. So. In this particular example, we have a condo on the first two levels and then a separate condo on the upper two levels. And so other areas uh, may see that quite a bit, but it's relatively new concept here in Metro Richmond. The reasoning for that is land is expensive and that's a way for the developers to keep the unit cost down. This unit as furnished is coming in about 340,000. Now we can get you one for less that doesn't have quite as many upgrades, but this is just an absolutely gorgeous unit. Of course they have professional designers that come in and do the interior decorating and that just makes such a big, big difference. Uh, it really is worth the time and energy that they spend on making these units really nice. Okay, we're gonna pop out back here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the deck. We're up uh, nice and high. There's that CVS I mentioned earlier. We've got a common entrance there. And of course, these are where all the owners would enter uh, in order to access their garage and their parking. Uh, the garage for this unit would be right down there. Okay, let's go on back inside. The HOA fee, of course, would cover all of the exterior maintenance, would cover trash, water, and recycling as well. Okay, just a really, really nicely done unit. I already showed you the powder room there and uh, just really open, bright, and airy floor plan. We're gonna go on up to the third level. The third level is where our bedrooms are situated. We have a really, really nice fall day, and I'm glad I came here because I had no idea what 
these homes look like. That's one of the best parts of being an agent is you get to see and do something new and different every day. Really nice, clean utility room. This is all electric heat pump there and electric water heater. We're going to start off here with our secondary bedrooms. Before we get there, we have our laundry and side by side units and the other unit that is below this one uh, mo the both of those units were stacked so on th this floor plan we've got them side by side beautiful detail there on that wall we've got a nice closet there double doors and um, enough space here for a full size bed with no problem linen closet for additional storage and this is going to be the corner bedroom nice and bright this actually is a walk-in closet wow surprise you don't typically get a lot of walk-in closets on a secondary bedroom for townhomes so they did a great job on laying this out from a storage standpoint all right we're going to go back through the hallway and our hall bath is right here nice big vanity beautiful tile work here in this bathroom oh there we go now we're talking now we're talking see that's where some of your upgrade money is going right there nice big shower head and finally to our master uh, it's important if you're looking for new construction you definitely want to use a buyer's agent in that process buyer's agents are in the market they know what is standard practice they know kind of how to negotiate for you some questions to ask things to look out for uh, the cost of a buyer's agent is borne by the seller so i can represent you as a buyer's agent and it doesn't cost you a dime the builders are just happy 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 to have people like me that not only show off their product like i'm doing now but also to bring them qualified buyers. Uh, they have a budget to do that, and it's uh, just part of doing business. They love to have people walk through the door that are already qualified, that are ready to go, and represented by a good professional buyer's agent. Okay, we've got double vanities, and here is the other one here. Nice uh, granite top there. Of course, we have our water closet right here as well. Just a really nicely done master bath okay we are gonna pop over here into our closet uh, this was a big one uh, you're gonna really like the closet space here we have in this particular master it just goes on and on and on got a few racks down there at the end and this is probably a good 10 11 feet here on each wall actually it's going to be more uh, if you factor out the door and um, just plenty of storage space that's a large bed they have there still plenty of room uh, for traditional bedroom furniture as well this home is uh, it looks like powered no that's actually our thermostat uh, but this is a smart home they've got uh, special wiring packages i'm sure uh, that you can do all kinds of neat things to make sure it's up to date techno technologically and uh, that is pretty standard in today's market. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It'll be my honor to help. Be sure to remember that we have a rent to own program that is also available. Please subscribe, like if you'd be kind enough and share this information with someone that you know should be or is looking for a home to buy or sell. Max Williams, 402-7788. You can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube. Under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.